Welcome to Lecture Online, and our next topic is simplifying expressions with radicals and exponents. And so let's look at some basic rules of exponents first, and then some basic rules for radicals. So whenever we have two numbers that we're multiplying together, and the bases are the same, then we simply add the exponents. So a is considered the base, and n and m are the exponents, so this would be a to the n plus m. So we simply add exponents in case we multiply. In the case of division, we subtract exponents. Again, the rule is that the bases are the same. For example, if we have something like this, a to the n times b to the m, well, there's no way to simplify that in any way because the base there is not the same, so you can't do anything with that. All right, if we have something like this, a to the n power, and the whole thing is raised to the n power, then in this case, we multiply exponents. And if we have a negative exponent, you can simplify that by writing it in the denominator, which changes the exponent to a positive exponent. If we have 1 over a to the negative exponent, in the same way we can bring that to the numerator and turn it into a positive exponent. And then in all cases, whatever it is, if it's raised to the 0 power, then it's always equal to 1. It doesn't matter what the number is or what the expression is. Anything raised to the 0 power will always be equal to 1. As far as radicals are concerned, radicals are just a different way of writing something with exponents, so we can go back and forth. The square root of a is the same thing as saying a to the one-half power, or the cube root of a is the same thing as saying a to the one-third power. So square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, and so forth are simply fractional exponents. And if we have something like this where we take the cube root of a squared, that can be written as a to the two-thirds power. So the exponent like this, goes in the numerator, and the root goes in the denominator. And then here we can go back and forth, left to right, right to left. The square root of a divided by b is the same thing as the square root of a divided by the square root of b. Or sometimes it's advantageous to have something that looks like this and rewrite it to make it look like this. And the same thing when we're multiplying, the square root of a times b like this can be written as the square root of a times the square root of b. Or if you have it written like this, you can go back and make it look like that. Knowing those rules are very important because that will allow us to go ahead and simplify expressions when we see them. And so it would be a good idea that you memorize these rules. On the next video or two, we're going to do some examples so you can see how they are applied.